when the full moon is bright, comes a horseman known as Zorro. This bold renegade carves a Z with his blade, a Z that stands for Zorro. Zorro, the fox so cunning and free. Zorro, who makes the sign of the Z. Sergeant Demetrio Lopez Garcia. Do I have the honor of addressing Don Juan Ortega, the new commandante for the Pueblo de Los Angeles? Si, Sergeant. Are you my reception committee? Uh, si, Capitan. We decided against calling attention to your arrival due to the danger involved. Well, that was very wise. I understand the last commandante was shot and killed the same day he reported for duty. See, si. we had no sooner said hello than it was time to say goodbye. I was supposed to meet you at San Pedro Harbor when your ship arrived from Monterrey, but... But what, Sergeant? A thousand pardons, Comandante. You see, I am one of those unfortunates who suffers from seasickness. But you were only to meet this ship, not sail aboard it. I know, Capitan, but the mere sight of the ocean makes me ill, even talking about it. Oh, why should the ocean make you ill? It is gentle, like rocking a baby. See. Si. Have you not heard it said, rocked in the cradle of the deep? Over the gentle ocean waves, eh? <laughs> All right, Sergeant, let us proceed on our way to Los Angeles in a direction away from, uh, may I say the word, ocean? Please, Comandante. <laughs> Rosarita. Don Diego, how nice to see you. Nice to see you. Are you still living in Monterey? Yes. Father has a ranch there now. I doubt if we'll ever move again. What brings you to Los Angeles? I arrived yesterday for a short visit with my uncle. Did you have a nice trip? Oh, it was very interesting. I traveled by ship as far as Santa Barbara. Uncle's carriage met me there and brought me to his hacienda. You know, I would not have believed it possible. You are even more lovely than I remember. It still is, senorita. Well, what is wrong with the men in Monterey? They must be blind. Diego, have you forgotten our childhood vows? Vows? Oh, that we would marry when we grew up. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we were very young then. Of course. Diego, I was wondering. My uncle has invited a few friends in for the evening. A few dignitaries, but mostly people I used to know. Would you care to stop by? Rosarita, in the whole wide world, there is nothing I would like better than that. <sighs> this evening, then. About eight? About eight. Adios. Adios. <laughs> Your pardon, Father. I, uh, well... I understand. She is charming, Diego. Most charming. Shall we have some wine? Fine, fine. Two glasses of wine, please. Who is the young lady? Anyone I know or <laughs> soon will know? Rosalita Cortez. You know that, recall her father, Domingo Cortez? A fine family, good blood. You could do much worse, my son. Aren't you rushing it a little bit, father? I've hardly spoken a dozen words to the young lady in ten years. <laughs> Gracias. Salud. Salud. What brings you to the Pueblo in the heat of the afternoon? Oh, I have good news, Diego. I received this letter from my old friend in Monterrey, Father Hernando. You have heard me speak of him. Many times. The father wrote concerning a new comandante, Don Juan Ortega. Oh, he's expected to arrive today. I have been afraid that this new comandante would succeed no better than the others. Listen, this is what Father Hernando says. Don Juan Ortega is a good man, kindly and fair in his dealings with others. That is good news. Clear the way! Make 
way for His Excellency Don Juan Ortega, our new Comandante of the Pueblo de Los Angeles. <laughs> you stupid fool. He was only trying to help, Comandante. You mind your own business, Sergeant. Open the gates. See, si, Comandante. Open the gates! Open the gates! And Padre Nando says that our new Comandante is a kindly man. Let us not be too hasty in our judgment of him, Diego. He may be tired from the thrift and not his usual self. Well? Who is it? Sergeant Garcia, may I come in, please? Yes, come in. Senor Maestrado, our new Comandante Don Juan Ortega is here. Show him in. Comandante! Our Maestrado of the Pueblo de los Angeles, His Excellency Carlos Galindo. Sergeant Garcia, don't you think you've played Comandante long enough? Perhaps you'd better wait for me downstairs, Sergeant. You have your identification papers, Comandante? This is all? Might I uh, inquire what happened to the real Ortega? He fell overboard shortly after the ship left Santa Barbara. How unfortunate. The poor devil. He was wearing a length of chain around his neck at the time. Went straight to the bottom. And this unfortunate accident, was it entered in the ship's log? The captain also carries an eagle's feather. Good. Maestrato, tell me, our leader... The one who calls himself the Eagle. Have you met him? Oh, he seems to be a man of mystery. Not even his most trusted agents know who he is. Does it not seem strange to you that if we are caught and hanged, that he is in the clear? Would it make your own hanging any more pleasant to know that his neck is in a noose also? It just seems strange to me, that is all. He pays well, doesn't he? You like the money. He pays well. I do not deny that. Then I would suggest, Comandante, that you restrain your curiosity and also your criticism. I am afraid the eagle would not appreciate them. Word has come to me that the eagle is disappointed with the situation here in Los Angeles. He's not getting enough money from this area. The people are not demoralized. And this outlaw, Zorro,